In the East Khas Hills in the district of Meghalaya lies a village named Kongthong which is also known as the whistling village of India. When a child is born the villagers keep this tradition of giving both a regular name and a tune to their newborns. And it stays with them forever and is never shared again. In 2021 the Ministry of Tourism nominated this Kongthong village for the World Tourism Organization's Best Tourism Village Award. And today we are going to explore this whistling village so let's go. So good morning everybody and welcome to the new vlog of my channel my name is Saurabh and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine so as you know i'm in meghalaya right now and right now i'm in cherapunji this is our third day in cherapunji uh, last night we came to this place at around 9:30 after having dinner so we were all tired because of uh, the activities that we did yesterday yesterday we did spelunking uh, which is like pretty adventurous thing that we did in meghalaya So we are staying in Cafe Chirapunji, which is like a pretty good property. I really enjoy this property. I'll just give you a quick room tour as well. This is our tent house where we are staying, and let me just quickly give you a room tour of it. So this is our room where we stayed last night, and it's pretty cozy. Uh, we have a blower here as well, and then the washrooms are pretty clean as well. You can have a look. How beautiful! and well maintained it is and it's pretty neat tidy and very well furnished uh, apart from the blower they have given us a heating mattress as well which is like a very good thing so yahan pe we had booked two uh, tents and three rooms i'll give you a room tour of the rooms as well so these are the rooms that i was talking about so we have a small uh, living room over here and then this is the bedroom and abhi ka kuch plan change ho gaya because since it's our last day in meghalaya uh, last day of the tour as well so we have decided to uh, stay on this property for a while and play some games enjoy and chill over here for for a while and after that we'll go to the whistling village we are about to play dog in the bone here and we have made the team this is our rival team and this is our team and ye hai hamari sanchalak ji the referee of the game i'll ensure that the game is fair and square fair and square बट पैसे भिजवा दिए मैंने हाँ। तो देखते रहना <laughs> अरे यार क्या यार the whistling village which is in ronthong uh, we have taken a small halt at a view point uh, which is called uh, let me let me recollect it it's rangkelion so the names of these places over here just so difficult like i remember it for a while and then when i try to speak it again i usually forget it so we have stopped at a view point which is called rang rangkelion Check out the view, guys. There's a bridge in the under construction over there. We're going there. We are at Rangkelion viewpoint.
And what's your real name? Uh, Paya. 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 So everyone has two names here. Yeah? Uh, yes. Okay. Can you tell me your name again? The whistling name. <laughs> so after uh, one hour of drive, we have reached Kong Tong, and this is the place where we'll be bunking in tonight. Uh, this is the cottage behind me, and we are staying in Rivar Cottages. It's a pretty beautiful stay. Uh, let me just give you a quick room tour of how this beautiful cottage looks like from inside. This is how our room looks like from inside. So we have a double bed over here where two people will sleep. Then one bedding over there, one here, and one here. And then we have this place where we can lit the fire. So pretty decent, pretty cool. So on the last day of the trip, we'll have the feel to stay in a local village type home where five people will be sitting, uh, will be sleeping in a room. So yeah, pretty good. It has a very interesting view from outside as well. And Abhi, uh, we'll be going to have the lunch. And let's get going and have lunch, lunch first. So lunch karne ke baad, we took a stroll in the village, played with kids and met few villagers. But since it had already gone dark, we came back to our hut and enjoyed the bonfire. Good morning everybody and it's our last few hours in Meghalaya now. We were here in this village Kong Thong, where people call each other by their whistling names. And उसके बाद यहाँ पे काफी जल्दी sunset हो जाता है तो we were not able to explore the village that much but अभी का scene ऐसा है कि we woke up थोड़ा सा जल्दी तो we decided to do a village walk and then over here only we'll uh, we'll meet people uh, and then we'll ask them their whistling names which is going to be pretty exciting okay what are your whistling names tell me come on coo 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 what's yours Oh. <laughs> yours? Yours? What's yours? Tell us. <laughs> tell her to tell? Oh, oh. <laughs> say again, say again. Say again. <clears throat> again? Again? Coo, coo, coo. We learned two more Khasi words, which is Khoi, which means hello, and Liksuk, uh, which means goodbye. So, we have been learning Khasi language all through our journey, and it's, it has been a pretty good journey till now. बना दिया कैसा लग रहा है काफी बुरा यहां के बच्चे चार हैं हां सही में यार हमें दौड़ा दौड़ा के रैगिंग करी उन्होंने हमारे ग्राउंड में फुल स्वेट आउट हो गए हां नाइस 
they have whistling names so that they can call out each other since if if they are far from the from the place to agar wo fields mein hai and they are not close to the to the house or somewhere to they call each other each other out by their whistling names to ye hai she shy try to do the whistling yes son okay she call her first son okay फैमिली yes, बट इज इट एंड कंफ्यूजिंग मतलब ऑलमोस्ट एवरी ट्यून इज सेम ट्यून वट आई फील थोड़ा थोड़ा सी बिफोर बिफोर दैट बिफोर द मदर्स डिसाइड हाउ टू मेक परमानेंट फॉर द न्यू बर्स बेबी सो फर्स्टली शी हैव टू कम्पेयर दैट ट्यून इज विल बी सिमिलर विथ एनी वन हियर इन द विलेज और नॉट देन इट विल बी सिमिलर सो द मदर्स यू विल चेंज द मदर विल चेंज अच्छा ओके हाउ डू दिस कल्चर ऑफ गिविंग विस्लिंग नेम स्टार्ट See, this so uh, we don't know the starting of this. It's okay. It has a long time back mm. because uh, yeah, it flows from generation to generation. Okay. If if you see any broom that is ready to harvest, show me. Okay. Yeah. Like the size, no? Like this ready. is not ready, no? No, this is ready. This this one. This one, no? Okay. So how how do you harvest it? Like how from so where do you cut? You use like this. Like this. Like you remove the leaves. Yes, we remove. Okay. Only like this we use we. So this becomes the broom. Yes. So we dry this okay. then we can use for broom use for cleaning. Mm. Okay. Mm. You guys obviously sell it also. Yes. Mm. So we are done with the breakfast. We are done with uh, the village walk and we got to listen some very very soothing beautiful peaceful names uh, peaceful whistling names uh, of the people and it was such an amazing experience. We had a short stay over here. And this is our last day in Meghalaya. and last few hours in meghalaya i would say and then yahan se we'll be going to guwahati and then wahan se we'll fly back to delhi ab uh, I, i can see people are uh, boarding our tem other tempo traveler and let's get going chalte hain aage to watch along to aise hi haste khelte aur ek dusre ke sath naachte gaate hamare ye 8 din kaise beet gaye hame ye pata hi nahi chala इन आठ दिनों में हमने मेघालय के ना जाने कितने खूबसूरत नज़ारे देखे वाटरफॉल्स लिविंग रूट ब्रिज एशिया की सबसे क्लीनेश रिवर मेघालय के केव्स और क्या नहीं पर इन आठ दिनों में हमने जो ये नई यादें बनाई नए दोस्त बनाए वो अब जिंदगी भर साथ रहेंगे और ये मैं ऐसा इसलिए कह सकता हूँ क्योंकि जैसे ही सब अलग होने लगे सबकी आँखों में आंसू दिखाई दिए एंड एज आई से इट्स नॉट अबाउट द प्लेस यू ट्रैवल टू इट्स अबाउट द पीपल यू ट्रैवल विद और यही हमारे जिंदगी कुछ खूबसूरत यादें बनती हैं तो दोस्तों इसी नोट पर हम ये मेघालय की जर्नी और ये व्लॉग सीरीज खत्म करते हैं तो एज ऑलवेज गाइज इन नेक्स्ट व्लॉग सो टिल देन बाय एंड आप दिल्ली फिर भी ठीक है फरीदाबाद आओगे तो पता चल जाएगा फिर ठीक है तो कर दो सब्सक्राइब फिर बीटीआर हो रही है तो ट्रैवल विथ एक्सपीरियंस डेस्टिनेशन